Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Arkham Knight Batman Beyond statue from Prime One Studios. That's up next. Hello everyone, it's the Batman Statue Collector and today, like I said, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this Batman Arkham Knight Batman Beyond statue from Prime One Studio and I'm really excited about it. So before we do that though, if you are not a subscriber, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. Also, if you would take a moment and give this video a like, it really does help the channel out. And also, if you are a subscriber, if you hit that little bell down below, it will notify you every single time I put out a new video. and uh, that way you are notified right away and you don't miss any of my content. Again, that just means the world to me, so thank you guys very much. Um, so like I said, today we're going to be unboxing this. Now this actually was a trade that I did recently. Uh, this was not one that I was uh, expecting to have in my collection. Uh, it's still one that I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping or not. We'll kind of wait and see. Uh, I can't wait to get it opened up to see what I think, but I do want to show you the box first. Um, here you can see that it does have that... Um, that great box art here, Batman Beyond, the Arkham, lo the Arkham Knight logo, and then of course this great graphic here on the front. Uh, the sides are pretty much standard fare for the various um, Arkham pieces. This one has all of the information on the side. A lot of times that's on the back, but this time it's on the side. And then the back, or even the front, I think this actually is the back side, um, has again a really cool graphic. I actually prefer this one the best. I think it's really well done with the blacks and whites and the reds. And then of course here we have a, another graphic of the base. Uh, the base is very cool, very massive on this one. Um, just really well done, I think, in my opinion. Um, let's look at the top here of the box. Uh, this one is 555 out of 750 exclusive. Uh, a little bit higher number than I normally get, but again, like I said, this is a trade. Uh, so this box is uh, not brand new by any means, uh, but uh, it seems like it's in really good shape. So I'm really excited to get into this box. Uh, let's go ahead and get the styrofoam out and let you see what's inside, and we'll get it set up for the unboxing. All right, so we have the styrofoam open. Let's go ahead and start getting it all set up here. Uh, first, of course, we will start with the base as always, and uh, I will bring this out. This base is massive, I can tell you that much. Very large and incredibly heavy. Very large, got a lot of styrofoam bits on it. You know, clean that up, uh, up but uh, you get kind of an idea. Massive base, let me kind of show you the bottom here. Really cool. Thing looks good on it. Not seeing anything. Like I said, there's a lot of styrofoam bits I need to clean off, but looks good. Uh, let's do this part next. This is that big backdrop. Uh, I really like this element here because it does go uh, with the other Dark Knight elements, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see. I'm not sure which way it goes. We'll put it in this way first. I might have it turned around, but. It does look like it fits perfectly into that. And I think last from this box is a couple of head sculpts and then also uh, another one of the switch outs. So this is looking really good, one of the fists. And here we have one of the heads. And again, when I do my review, I'll have all the close-ups for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm getting here. Uh, we also have uh, the chest plate. Really cool. Lightweight. It's a really nice sheen to it. Some nice weathering. Real cool. And I think the last piece from this box is that second head sculpt with the chin revealed there. So I think that's everything from this box. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get the next box up here and we'll see what's inside of that one. All right, so this box, of course, is going to have the figure and all of the arms. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the figure out first. Very massive piece. It's always surprising when I get a one-third scale in of how big these are, uh, even though I have them all over my bat cave. It's still amazing to me. All right, lots of cool detail on this guy. Uh, kind of give you an idea of size of him. Um, everything looks really good. 
I like the colors a lot in person. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, that looks really good. Let's see if I can get it on the peg here. There we go. Got to figure out how he fits in there, and he did just fine. Slid right in. Okay, so then next up we have this little piece, and I did miss this um, on the, uh, the styrofoam opening. This is that little shield guard for the mouth. So that's right there. Uh, we also have more of the arm. This one is the open arm, open hands. Uh, we also have some of the uh, shoulder armor here. So that's going to go in just like that and just like that. So it looks really good there. I'm going to go ahead and put one of the arms in too, just so you guys can kind of see how it looks. Nice strong magnet there. And then we have three more arms. Forgot how many arms come with this thing. Got two more here with closed fist or uh, this one is for the exclusive, holding that uh, batarang. And then one more here. So I'm gonna put this here, and I'll just kind of put this in just so you guys can kind of see uh, real quickly what the figure looks like. I'll put the chest piece in, and then one of the head sculpts. Uh, there is one thing I missed from this bottom box, and that is the exclusive Batarang. I'm assuming that's a Batarang. Um, this, of course, is to be held in his hand here. And so there you have it. Um, my initial impression is he's massive. I love the colors. I was really worried about the blacks um, making it just all black, but there's lots of grays and shiny blacks and reds. Uh, a lot more detail than I really expected. So that's the unboxing. Uh, now let's get to the main event. Let's go ahead and do the full review. That's right now. All right, guys, it is full review time. And uh, again, this is the Batman Beyond statue from Arkham Knight from Prime One Studio. He is one third scale and he is very impressive. Now, I am going to be honest here. I don't know a lot about this character. Uh, this is not one of my favorites, um, but I did recently have the opportunity to make a trade. And this is always one that I thought was a really cool looking statue. Um, I thought the art direction on it was really cool. I thought it would maybe make a cool standalone piece so when I had the opportunity to make a trade I thought okay well this is cool um, you know I at least want to review it I want to see it in person and see what I really think and uh, I might keep it I might sell it uh, I'm just gonna have to wait and see but my initial impression of him is he's really quite awesome I really think he is amazing especially art direction wise now um, I have seen him in other people's collections uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Matt collections I know he has this in his collection and I was always you know thinking man how cool it looks in his collection um but again, I don't know a lot about this character. Uh, I'd have to refer to my good friend Centauri Stir Fry. I think that he would know a lot about this character because uh, he knows so much about comic books. Um, but it does make me want to learn a little bit more about the character. Now, I do know that uh, this is Terry McGinnis. Uh, of course, uh, he is the person that takes over the mantle of Batman when Batman is elderly. And uh, of course, again, this is Batman Beyond. And uh, this does take place after Batman the Animated Series. And again, this was a skin offered in the Arkham game. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and start the review. And uh, as always, I start with the base. And just, just look how cool this is. Uh, so much detail in this base. And uh, having so many of these Arkham pieces, um, this is by far, I'm going to say, the biggest uh, base there is of all the Arkham pieces. I think maybe Catwoman might be pretty similar when I get her in. Kind of a similar looking base. Um, but just look at all these cool details here. Uh, now I'm not going to lie, I have absolutely no idea who these characters are. I'm not sure if they were in the show or not. Um, if you know, please comment down below so I can learn a little something today. And uh, you know, this one almost looks kind of like he might be a Joker type character. I don't know anything about it, but I do know that they look really cool. It's a really neat base. All right, let me go ahead and spin it around so you guys can kind of see the back side as I go around. Again, this does match all of the other Arkham bases. 
And so here we see the back side again, very similar with that bat emblem. The tree growing up the side. And this is, this is something I really like. Okay, so this is that cathedral glass. Um, but the cool thing about it is we get the whole thing. Now, if we come over here to like my Two-Face, it's the same one up here, same exact one, but we only get half. And so this actually, you know, matches perfectly. I just love that. I love that attention to detail here with that. Um, we have the holes in the bricks, the bricks going up and then breaking the little pieces of top of the building. Just really cool. Again, the paint matches perfectly to the other uh, statues that I own. Kind of spin this around a little bit. Kind of show you the top. Just show it from all angles if you guys want to see it. Um, all right, so that leads us up to the boots. Uh, I, as always, I apologize for the shadows in my bat cave. Not a lot of great lighting up here. Um, whenever I first saw this statue, I thought it was all black. Um, but getting it in person, I was very, very wrong. Um, lots of gray. It's mostly gray. Uh, it's kind of a dark gray. Uh, there are shiny black elements to it. Uh, you can see the black straps there. Um, it's definitely not all black. Uh, little pops of uh, red throughout the statue. Uh, there's also, you know, nice um, weathering effects with kind of a light silver. Really cool. Straps on the boots. Show you a side profile here. Hopefully you guys can see all of that detail. Just really cool. Uh, the wrinkles in the pants, uh, always something that Prime One does really well. It's this fully sculpted, but definitely from a distance it looks like fabric. Um, just so much detail here. Really cool, really well done in my opinion. Uh, let me go ahead and spin it around so you can see the back side here of him. Again, I'm always amazed by the level of detail that Prime One puts uh, in to the back side of things. Sorry, it's not focusing, there we go. Um, just look at this, I mean, look at the detail here. And now we're getting some more silvers introduced into the belt. Got a lot of grays, shiny black, matte black, and then also, of course, those shiny elements right there with the silver. Looks really cool. I'm just amazed how many colors they actually used. Because again, just to the naked eye, everything looks black. But man, when you get it in person, I was definitely wrong. Let me go up the back too so you can see, see what that looks like. Again, just so much wasted detail back here because you don't get to see it. Uh, I just love it. It just kind of reminds me of Bane where it had that great uh, Venom canister in the back. Ugh. You just don't ever get to see it though. Um, so let me go ahead and spin it around here. I'll kind of show you some of the arm gauntlets here. Little Nice little red pops of color. Nice weathering effect on the gauntlets themselves. So they're a little battle damaged. You can see the detail in the arms, the armor. Show you the front of the belt here, and just look at that. Look how cool that is. Look at the de look at the detail here. So cool. As we go up the the ab region, more armor. You can see all of the scuffs. Of course, that's all painted on with a you know silver paint. More obvious on camera than in the naked eye. And of course we have this chest emblem here. Uh, this piece did come off. You saw that in the unboxing portion. And of course all these, shoulder, these uh, shoulder guards also pop off. Um, nicely painted. Fits right into place really easy. Uh, the pose that I have right now is that double fist look. There are some options for switch outs and I'll show you that here in a second. And then I want to show you the, uh, the head sculpt here. Make sure I get it in focus for you guys here. Uh, the head sculpt is really well done. I really like the red eyes. And I really like the mouth guard. Looks really cool. Uh, this this doesn't have any cape, as you notice. Uh, you notice the red stitching in the neck area. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Looks really good. Now, of course, this, what happens is, is that you can just pop this off. This is magnetized. And then you get 
the uh, exposed head sculpt there. So let me kind of back up to kind of show you what that looks like with the uh, exposed head. Um, this piece right here is semi-transparent. So uh, I didn't even realize that, but uh, as you pop it on, um, you can actually see, oop, I didn't, don't have it up there all the way, there we go. Uh, you can actually see the mouth through it. It's kind of hard to see, but it is, again, semi-transparent, which I think is cool. Let me show you the side profile here. And then, of course, the back, the back detailing here. Really well done. Everything is really cool on the statue. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I do want to show you some of the swap outs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap out um, the heads. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to swap out the arms first uh, so you can see what that looks like. So this is the clenched fist look. And now let me show you with the other option here. All right, so this is the next option here. You can see that the uh, the hands are open. They no longer have that clenched fist. And so gives you just kind of another look here. Uh, I think I actually prefer this look here a little bit better. Uh, of course, you can have uh, you know one clenched fist and one open palm. It's really kind of up to you how you want to display it. Uh, but they do completely swap out here right at the elbow joint. I'll show you there. So it's really kind of up to you. Um, how you want to display that. But anyway, I think this pose looks really cool. Uh, but let me get to, uh, to the one that a lot of you probably want to see, and that's the exclusive view. All right, so then this is the view that you get uh, with the exclusive. Um, it is holding what I believe is the about a ring. I'm not exactly sure if that's what they still call it in this series. Make sure I get it in focus for you guys here. There we go. Um, it really is easy. It just uh, slides in and out. You can take it out of the hand if you want to. Um, and it just slides right in very easily. If I get the right angle here on it. But it just slides right in. And this is the look that you get. So uh, I think a lot of people, if you have the exclusive, this is what you would do. It definitely adds a little bit more red to the figure. It adds a little bit more pop, which I like. And uh, let me show you one more thing here, because uh, I know you're going to want to see that uh, other head sculpt. All right, so then this is the uh, second head sculpt. And again, you just kind of get a different look. This is uh, his face, uh, just black. Um, doesn't have any guard or anything on it. But uh, you get kind of the look of it like that. Just another option. I'm going to hold the two head sculpts up here so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, one is, uh, the one on the figure is very dark. Uh, this one that I'm holding in my hand that I've done the rest of the review, this one is more gray. So you definitely get the different looks here. And then I can take off that mouth guard and you get the, you know, another, whole another look all together. So again, just very different. It really depends on kind of what you like, you know, what you, what you prefer. But anyway, this is the figure. Um, that's all the swap outs. Uh, gives you kind of an idea of what he looks like. Uh, again, this is just a very unique piece. Um, it is one that I can see that if you don't have the other Arkham pieces, uh, I feel like this is one that you can definitely uh, have as a standalone piece. Um, he does fit in with the Arkham collection very well, though. Um, I'm just really impressed overall. I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. Um, again, this is one that I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be keeping or not. Um, but it's definitely a cool statue. I really like the art direction. I love the colors. Um, and again, to me, it's just one of those things where I don't know enough about this character. Um, but it does make me want to learn a little bit more about Terry McGinnis and, uh, you know, all of his stories. So, really cool give you kind of one more quick review. In terms of art direction, uh, I would probably give this a, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10. I think it's really well done. Lots of detail. I mean, just look at that. So much detail from top to bottom. 
If you're a fan of this version of Batman, man, don't hesitate. This is a fantastic statue. If you can get the exclusive, I do think it really adds a lot to the statue. Uh, just having that extra pop of red there. Because, I mean, it is a dark statue. Uh, I know that a lot of collectors out there don't like dark statues. They like the super, super bright uh, statues. Uh, being a Batman fan, I just I don't have a lot of that in my collection. So this is definitely a dark one. Uh, it's not a lot of color, but that red, it really does stand out, especially up here in the Batcave. I mean, I mean, just look at the surroundings here. Not a lot of red, but man, that red, you definitely notice it right away. So it definitely brings the eye right to that bat signal uh, symbol right there. Really cool. All right, guys, so that is my quick review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, please make sure you like the video if you enjoyed the content. That really does help me out tremendously. Um, and uh, I just hope you enjoyed it. I, I really appreciate uh, all that you guys do. I appreciate all of your viewership. And again, I just I cannot thank you enough from top to bottom. Um, how much you guys all mean to me. So thank you guys very much. Uh, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.